और डीप फेक को लेकर हम जानते हैं कि लगातार कई तरह की खबरें निकल कर आ रही हैं और अब सरकार जो है वो भी एक्शन में नजर आ रही है सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म के साथ आज बैठक की है केंद्रीय मंत्री अश्विनी वैष्णव ने प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस कर रहे हैं सुनते हैं क्या कह रहे गाइडलाइंस के तहत ले सकते हैं वो हम लेंगे सर हैव एनी ऑफ द कंपनीज स्पेसिफिकली द सोशल मीडिया कंपनीज एंड द ए आई जेनेटिंग कंपनीज सो हैव एनी ऑफ द कंपनीज हैव एक्सेप्टेड दैट दे हैव दे विल ब्रिंग चेंजेस टू देर एग्जिस्टिंग पॉलिसीज फॉर मिसलीडिंग एंड फेक कंटेंट्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया ऑल ऑफ देम हैव शेयर्ड अवर कंसर्न ऑल ऑफ देम अंडरस्टैंड दैट दिस इज अ ग्रेव दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट्स अ वेरी बिग थ्रेट टू आर सोसाइटी ऑल ऑफ अस हैव सेट दैट यस वी आर already taking steps internally and we would like to increase the intensity of those efforts uh, sir uh, do chote chote sawal the ek to digital personal data protection kanun abhi parit hua tha pichle satra mein aapko lagta hai ki kya usko aur mazboot karne ki koshish hai uh, in the context of this new challenge aur kya aapko lagta hai ki ek naya kanun banana zaruri hoga deep fakes jaise chunautiyon se nipatne ke liye jaisa maine kaha फ्री स्पीच और प्राइवेसी ये दोनों के दोनों कंस्ट्रक्ट हमारे लिए बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और इन्हीं दोनों कंस्ट्रक्ट को डी फेक का उपयोग करके एक तरीके से उसको अंडरमाइन करने की कोशिश की जा रही है इसलिए नए रेगुलेशन में डी फेक और एआई जनरेटेड सिंथेटिक कंटेंट को हार्मफुल न हो सोसाइटी के लिए डेमोक्रेसी के लिए उसके लिए नए रेगुलेशन लाए जाए रिपोर्टिंग मैकेजम नीड्स टू बी स्ट्रेंथ it needs to be more proactive it needs to be more uh, time sensitive because a damage which can be done can be very immediate and if it takes a few hours to take down such content then that that may not prevent the damage so that's why this is the third part of the pillar third pillar of the construct we come this side sir so, aditi from hindustan times i have a tripartite question first uh, when it comes to regulation you said that it could either be a law rules or amendments to rules so was there a discussion about what exact what kind of form the regulation will take and what is the timeline we are looking at because you said in 10 days we'll have an actionable plan and then you said that there will be a law will there be a public consultation on it second uh, you spoke about how uh, there was discussion about tackling uh, deep fakes as well as deep misinformation now there is an issue between uh, about distinguishing between deep fakes and deep misinformation for instance prime minister modi talked about a deep fake of his garba video which turned out not to be a deep fake or synthetically created video but of a person who looks like mr modi who was in that video so was there a discussion around uh, differentiating between the two and how to tackle misinformation which are not deep fakes if yes how will that interact with the existing it rules and the amendments that were made in april and the last part is uh, was there a discussion about tracing the people who create these deep fakes and how would that interact with end to end encrypted apps all your three questions are basically covered if you look at the structure that we have all agreed upon how to detect how to prevent how to structure how to strengthen the reporting mechanism deep fakes deep misinformation there are so many different colors of this synthetic uh, to use the generic term synthetic content which is not natural content which has been created using some tools there can be something which is very genuine for example somebody is using ai simply to enhance a photograph right that is not harmful that's not something which is affecting the society but there is somebody who is using somebody's face and creating a video which can be totally wrong for example in the recent elections in madhya pradesh a video surfaced in which the chief minister was kind of saying that okay you vote for the opposite party that was 
that is absolute misinformation, that is absolute deep fake, that is absolute deep misinformation. We have to address that part, we have to make sure that the people who create this, they are identified, they have their own set of punishments. Simultaneously, the platforms which are the tools through which this content is spreading, they also have to take a responsibility in terms of what they are allowing to be put on the platforms, are they taking enough steps for preventing such damage to the society, are they taking enough techni technological steps for that. Second. तो यहाँ पर डीप फेक का जो मामला है उसको लेकर एक्शन में नजर आ रही है सरकार केंद्रीय मंत्री अश्विनी वैष्णव ने सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स की बैठक की है और इसमें यहाँ पर उन्होंने चार मुद्दों पर सहमति जाहिर की है कि जांच कैसे करना है पोस्ट को रोक सकते हैं कैसे रिपोर्टिंग मैनेजमेंट जो है उसे कैसे मजबूत किया जाए और लोगों को जागरूक कैसे किया जाए 